kan ik alleen vertellen dat Onno 26 jaar voorbij vliegen in een bad van warmte. Het land van ijs plaats heeft gemaakt voor het lage land, waar hij nu het gevoel heeft dat het allemaal net even anders in elkaar steekt dan zoals het eruit zag op het eerste gezicht. En u weet wat ik heb gezegd over dat eerste gezicht. Ik zal het u vertellen. Het verhaal over Onno de Onwetende, die het slachtoffer is geworden van het vriendengevoel. Well, uh, actually, Onno the Oblivious is kind of a personal story. And um, it's, it's, it's about a character who is actually going through his past, things that he uh, witnessed when he was younger. Like for instance, uh, the news that he heard his father had cancer, or uh, love in Zambia, which didn't turn out to be good. And um, I thought, okay, it's not going to be a film which we are going to follow the psychology of the character. So it's going to be more like Bresson said, to use a model. And I thought, okay, I have to find someone who knows what I have went through without explaining too much, because it's kind of a weird story and it's actually about the unexplainable. And then I thought, well, there's only one guy who can do this, I think, which is my brother, who happens to be an actor. So actually, when I started writing, I knew he was going to play it. And we also wrote some of the voiceover texts together and um, so that's actually how it uh, started. <laughs>